Hi, this video I'm going to show how to create data for semantic segmentation problems using the ground truth level of application from MATLAB. Uh, this tool allows uh, to create both data automatically and also allows uh, the user to modify it manually. And uh, we're going to use a automated driving assistant video pro, uh, for data, but this can be applied for any semantic segmentation uh, application. Okay, so this is the, the article that we're going to walk through. It's going to be in the references of this video. And to start, uh, we just hit open live script in here. And that'll take us to here. Okay, so the first uh, step is to load the uh, pre-trained uh, network. So to, gener uh, to generate the data, uh, we are going to use a pre-trained network. But, uh, but you could use any algorithm to generate the data. Uh, for the case of using a pre-trained network, uh, so basically the data is going to be the videos, uh, the, the video of the car driving to the streets. And basically we're going to apply a semantic a pre-trained network that is going to, uh, is trained to classify 11 types of, of objects in the street. We're going to pick only two of them. They are going to be sky and road. Uh, but basically, uh, when we apply the semantic segmentation function on, on the network, the pre-trained network, we're going to get the labels, and that label is going to become our data. So it's kind of, uh, we're doing reverse engineering from a pre-trained network to get data from it. And we can further improve it uh, manually or automatically, etc. Okay, so this is the pre-trained network. This is the path. Uh, so we're going to just run these commands and I already downloaded this so I'm not going to run it, I don't have to run it again uh, anyway you have these commands in the references ok so let's load the network and I'm going to make sure that we have the network correctly notice that this is a structure so I have to use .NET to get the actual network and it's a regular convolution neural network with convolution layers, batch, uh, relu, etc., with some branching and at the end some uh, labels. Okay, and notice that uh, we the output size is going to be the size of the same size of the input image, but instead of three colors, we have 11 categories because we have labels. Okay, so let's uh, give it a shot. Uh, we're going to use this data, data from this folder. We're going to read an image, and then for that image, uh, I'm just going to show you the image. The image it does not have any label. So we apply the semantic segmentation. This is a computer vision toolbox uh, function. We just give the image and also the pre-trained network, and we're going to get the labels. And now we're going to use this image processing toolbox function to overlay the labels over the image uh, using only the sky and road categories. Uh, okay, so let's just run this. And we got the labels in here. Okay, notice that this is not perfect. Uh, we can get rid of this and put this on. Uh, this is part of the improvements that we can do with the ground label. Uh, Run through level two. Okay, so yeah, as mentioned before, uh, this network is capable of uh, classifying these eleven categories, but we're gonna use eleven. Okay, so in the ground truth level ap application, a, a, in order to generate automatic data, is gonna we can provide an algorithm, and we can do that by extending the vision labeler of automation algorithm class. By extending this and putting it into the right folder, the tool is going to find it and it's going to run it. You have to have the, some methods expected to be implemented. And okay, so first we're going to move that algorithm in the folder, in the correct folder. We're going to create the folder and copy it there. And now we're going to put some breakpoints in here. Okay. So we have some descriptions, names, and you have properties. This is the pre-trained network, which we're going to use in this algorithm. And all the categories are going to be here. It's going to be background, road, and sky. But uh, these are populated later. 
and then the road uh, stores the name for the road and sky. Okay, so this, yeah, we're gonna see the purpose of this in a moment. This is for initialization, this is where you load the the pretend network, and this is where you actually generate the data when you do run. And this is gonna be a command in the tool. Okay, so let's use this video. Uh, this comes from a uh, a Cambridge a data set from Cambridge University, University of Cambridge. I think that's the name of the university. Yep, University of Cambridge. Okay, so let's run the ground labeler. So the first steps are going to be creating the label. The first is road. It's going to be a pixel label, not a rectangle, two cube, nor a line, nor a plated cube, just a pixel label. Okay. So now uh, let's create a sky, also a pixel label, and now uh, let's pick up the algorithm. Okay, and now let's call automate. This is gonna launch it, and it's gonna pick up these two labels, and it's gonna feed it to the algorithm. And, it's, and the algorithm is gonna process them through this function. Check label definitions. The first one is pixel, and we have some cases here. If it matches row, then we just Put it into a row name and just add it to all categories. Now we we should have two categories and the same thing is going to happen for the sky and now in all categories we have the three categories and we have the sky name. Okay so that's it for this one. F5 to continue execution and now uh, we can uh, we should be able to run the algorithm yeah. Okay, if for some reason it was in, in run, uh, ready to run, but uh, I cancel it. So the next step after after loading the algorithm is to click automate. Yeah, I, I think I already did. It. Yeah, and that basically uses the, the labels. My bad. Okay, so now uh, we're gonna run it, and this is the the uh, the one that is gonna generate the data. Okay, so we hit the initialize breakpoint, and that's where we load the pre-trained network uh, from the file. Okay, just let me make sure that we have the right network uh, using the analyze network command. And there you go, we have the same network. Okay. Okay, just let's hit F5 and let's continue running and when you run it it's gonna feed all the image from the video we have a good image in here and it's gonna create an empty labels and this is gonna have the default value which is background for everything and then we apply a use the semantic segmentation function with the pre-trained network and with the image to get the pixels and once we get the pixels is it's not empty then we're gonna compare it against the road and sky and use the names that we provided in there uh, in here uh, that we fetched it in here and effectively we alter the output matrix and now uh, we have uh, some of them are sky some of them are road so effectively this is the data that we return and it's going to accumulate all those results uh, for each of the images that is in the video so let's just keep running and this takes a while uh, so i'm going to pause it it's going to go from here all the way down here and eventually uh, when it finishes uh, notice that this is not perfect so we can go uh, to each one of those and uh, improve this we're going to see in a moment how okay it finished so we can see all the data generated so effectively we did reverse engineering on that network to get a bunch of data and we can get even more but a uh, we can still improve this data. For example, let's say this one. Uh, we can use the float field and select there. For example, I'm selecting road, so it's gonna get the road color. And yeah, you don't want to do this because look what's gonna happen. So yeah. So still, this is not part of the road. So I'm gonna use the eraser, which is pretty convenient and fast. Uh, it's not. It doesn't have to be perfect, but more or less. Okay. And that's one. Uh, then I can pick uh, the next one, uh, this one. Again, uh, apply the flow field, eraser. It's not perfect, but anyway, it's a little, it's much better now. And let's the, the previous one, 
and you can see here how the data is being progressed painstaking but I think this helps significantly to get a label data so okay once you finish uh, you have to accept it and once you accept it uh, it's going to be able to export the data so now let's say export labels and we're going to export to workspace you can uh, this is going to export it to a map file for illustration purpose just say, let's save it in ground truth okay so it's save it in ground truth uh, whoops let's take a look there it is uh, it already showed so you can see a, the, that object itself does not have the data but it points to where the data is and you can see it in this file you can see that uh, this folder is the same that I'm, uh, where I'm working on and these are the name of the, the pictures so the pictures are going to be under pixel data let's say that I enter in here and let's just read one uh, one of them uh, yeah, I'm gonna use this as an, an example. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna show it. Uh, you're gonna see that this is black because we only have labels and the labels go from a zero, a background, one, a road, and then two sky so if you try to open it outside a MATLAB you're going to get exactly the same result so but uh, if you see the data itself you're going to see zero, ones, and twos uh, so you have zero, ones, and twos so basically in order to be able to use this under here you have to convert it into categories and then you can feed it to the network uh, with a plain image and you're gonna get a uh, no sorry my bad uh, you create it in a uh, change into categories and then you can use the label overlay to put that into a corresponding image and you got the same effect that we show earlier here, here okay so in this video uh, we show how to create label data for semantic segmentation uh, this is one of the most important parts uh, of uh, deep learning problems uh, because uh, the more data, the stronger your neural network is going to be trained. So this tool uh, can help uh, facilitate the automation of the creation of that data and also the manual improvement. Thank you very much.